you guys what's up so I'm jumping in just to do an intro for this video I have a Target haul and I'm going to do a Whole Foods haul so most of the items I picked up at Target today you will see is mostly pantry and a few freezer items not a lot from Target because I'm looking for more organic items and they didn't have as many so I am going to get some fresh fruits and veg from Whole Foods, so you guys will see that a little bit later. But I just wanted to jump in and say hello to you all. I look rough. I was working out today. So, yeah. <laughs> and we have some cleaning to do, so we don't get pretty for cleaning. Not in this house. So I wanted to say hi, you guys, and I hope you enjoy the video. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe down below. We would love to have you join our village. We love each other here. And let's go ahead and jump into the hall. Alright, so just a few items like I said before, really not a whole lot. I did pick up some items for the family. If you are new, I do not eat animal, any type of animal. I do eat eggs. That's the only animal product I mainly eat. Other than that, I don't eat any type of chicken, beef, pork, fish, any of that. So, my diet is really open that's why i chose vegetation centered because it centers on vegetation as much as possible and i'm free to eat how i feel my body deserves the nutrition that it needs so let's go ahead and jump right in i love these these are so good to me so these are the smart sweets i picked up two of the sweet fish so I have two packages of those. We are having some Japanese tacos tonight and I just needed some salsa. They had the organic mild chunky salsa and I was so glad to find this for $2.99. The non-organic salsa was $3.99 so that was weird to me but hey I picked up that one. I also picked up these. I haven't picked these up in so long and I've never tried the Good and Gather brand which is Target's brand but I'm going to try these this week when I'm doing those 10 to 12 hour days. I really need something that's super quick that I'm not on my feet when I get home so I like to meal prep. You guys will see that in another video and I like to have these quick ready to eat type things on hand so i have the basmati rice and then i picked up the jasmine rice just to try them and see if i like them i know i like the uncle ben's and the trader joe's the ones that come in the frozen section those are really good too i wanted some more of the amy's organic chili they didn't have the one that I always get, but I saw this one, the black bean low fat medium chili. So I'm going to try it. I have never tried this one before, but I'm going to try it. I'm super excited because I do love black beans and it really looks good in the picture and I love the chili. So I did pick up three cans of those to have on hand. So that was a great buy. I have never tried these either. The Nature's Path Organic Frosted Berry Strawberry Toaster Pastries. Oh boy. These were on sale for two something, $2.69, $2.59, something like that. And I picked up this one. They also had a cherry pomegranate but i'm not a big cherry fan so i didn't pick that one up but i also picked up the wild berry acai so i picked this one up as well and i know the family will enjoy those as much as i will primal kitchen ketchup this is my favorite unsweetened ketchup it is so good I have enjoyed so many bottles now so this is the ketchup I have been getting the most and I've tried their barbecue sauce it is really good it's spicy but it's really good as well and I've tried a few of their dressings that don't include egg most of their dressings do include egg but I don't want my dressing to have raw egg in it so 
I'm telling you, that ketchup is good. And the Primal Kitchen brand, really good items that are a lot healthier for you. So this is for the family, of course. This is the classic ranch dressing. This is what they love to eat. So that's for them. I picked up some more of the Waterloo until I can get to Sam's or Costco where I can get the big case. I just picked up one. It was $3 for three of them for ten three dollars mm. they're on sale for three for ten but I didn't want three I just picked up the blueberry just to have on hand I picked up two more waters I like to have these on hand for the coffee maker and things like that so I have two of those I have the ripple chocolate protein drink drink I wish they had the vanilla, but they didn't have the vanilla on hand. So I just picked up the chocolate for my workout days and my work days when I need to replenish the protein. And of course, I want it to be a plant protein. So I picked those up. These two. This. I love this. It is so good. It is not vegan. I don't know why. I've seen this on my vegan page. But I don't think that it is vegan. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Maybe so. It only contains wheat. Wow. Wow. Okay. I learned something new. I didn't think it was vegan when I tried it. I thought the breading had some type of egg in it, but I don't see egg on the ingredients list. I did see it in my vegan Facebook group, but I didn't comment on it. I was just like, mm, that's interesting. I didn't know that they were vegan, so I will look at it when I get them again. But these are so good. This is the plain and you can put any type of sauce you want on it. That's why I picked that one up. But they have the barbecue, they have the parm garlic, teriyaki. I think those are the only three that I have seen so far. This one is new. I've never seen the breaded broccoli, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm super excited to try that. So I picked those up for myself. And of course, this is for the fam. This is not for me. This is the croissant, turkey sausage, egg white, and cheese delight sandwiches. They haven't had these in a very long time, and I thought this would be a nice treat with people going to school and working. So that's for them. And then for Tati and I, I picked up some more medium roast unsweetened iced coffee. This will not last we love iced coffee and on those super hot days i love iced coffee so much so let me go ahead and take everything off of the counter and i'm going to show you the non-food items that i picked up at target today all right so the second half of this haul from target I did pick up one of these KitchenAid Y pillars. I have 10 pounds of carrots I haven't been able to cook or eat. My hands look so rough. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so off subject, but yeah. I think this is all that hand sanitizer <laughs> going in, coming out. Goodness. But I picked up one of those so I can go ahead and cook up those carrots and juice some do whatever i need to do with them so i have a peeler finally because i cannot find mine i also picked up these vent wrap little scent things i like to put in my car <laughs> i love the black ice one but i thought i would give this caribbean cool and i can't say it colada I wanted to give this a try. It smells really good. It really, it really smells like summer. So I wanted to go ahead and pick up one because those warmer months are coming. Thank goodness. This was the deal of my season. So I picked up three of these. All three of them were $4.99 each. Oh my goodness, I could not believe it. So I picked up one 
for my daughter, one for my son, because you know their birthdays are coming up. And we like to decorate our cups, so they will decorate it, of course. And oh my gosh, I cannot believe the price of these. So we have 14 hours cold and three hours hot. I'm so excited to finally get another one of these and use them. So I picked up two of the black. They had other colors, but they were not on sale. The original price was $9.99 for these and $14.99 for the big boy here. So I just went ahead and picked up two of the last two black that they had of these and the last one of this one. If they had more, I would have picked them up for Christmas. That's a great deal for an insulated cup. It is the Zach brand, which I have never really used, but I've seen other people use them and say that they are a really good brand. So I was super excited to find these. So this is for me. I got the big boy for me. Yes, I love to drink water all throughout my day. And I'm going to put my initials on there with the Cricut. So yeah, I can't wait. So it has to be washed and all that good stuff. So I picked those up. So I cannot believe for the price of this one, I got all three of them. Not bad. Not bad at all. So uh, last two items I picked up and this is actually for next month. It is not for now. I'm going to buy myself a new workout outfit each week this month that will transition over until March. In March, I'm going to do a try on haul. I'm going to show you guys what I picked out, how it fits, how it looks and things like that. So I did go ahead and pick this up from Target. I didn't want to go crazy and get like five different outfits right now because that would be super expensive. And I thought breaking it up would be better. And I want to see what Walmart has and other stores like that. So this is the one I picked up at Walmart. I love the back of this. This is super cute and this is not like a high performance bra. It's really a low performance, but I can't wait to try it. And I've never seen this Joy, what is it called? Joy Lab brand. So it's new to me and I did go matchy matchy because when I put the t-shirt or the long sleeve shirt on top, depending on if it's still kind of cool in March or if it has warmed up like I'm thinking then I will be not so matchy matchy on the outside but underneath I'll still be matching so I did pick up this sports bra and it was $20 for that one and I got it in an extra large because I kept looking at the cup and I'm like I don't know I don't know if that'll fit or not and I rather have it kind of big just a little bit so I can stretch this part down. All of my sports bras now, this part is my boobies. It's still holding my boobies and it's not supposed to do that. So I went a size up just in case. And then for the pants, I just got my regular size, which is a large. I was in a medium for the longest time, but I can't fit any of my mediums. I can still fit my larges, but not my mediums. So this was $34 for the pants. And I was looking for something definitely with pockets. It is light. It's not super heavy. It is higher on the tummy there. So it has a nice thick band there. And there is a pocket on both sides. And then it has a design down the leg with the stitching and so I picked that up so that's what I picked up I can't wait to try it on for you guys it will be in one of my motivational Monday weight loss videos so be looking out for that and be looking out for other workout outfits I'm going to be picking up over the course of this month can't wait super excited so that's everything for this haul you guys i hope you enjoyed the haul and i hope to see you guys in the next video comment any questions you have down below you guys know i love talking to you guys and i will see you in the next video all right y'all bye